In a bid to boost agriculture processing capabilities, government, through the Ministry of Agriculture, is prepared to acquire a building at Lakalum St. David for the establishment of an advanced agro-processing plant. The decision came after a recent evaluation of the building by Minister for Agriculture, Honorable Lennox Andrew, Acting Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Agriculture, Alpha Brown, and other technical officers. The building, which previously housed a pharmaceutical business, has been abandoned on government's property for more than a decade. Recognizing the potential of this infrastructure, the government aims to repurpose it to support the island's agro-processing sector. The envisioned agro-processing plant will not only provide modern facilities but also offer a comprehensive support to local agro-processors. This initiative is anticipated to catalyze an increase in both output and quality of agricultural products, not only for domestic consumption, but also for regional and international markets. Minister for Agriculture, Honorable Lennox Andrew, explained further. The, the land belongs to government, but the property was constructed by the investor. Our intention now is to acquire the building and to use it as an agro-processing facility to allow our agro-processors to have a place where they can come and process their agricultural products. Of course, there are some legal issues involved, so we are working through those legal issues. And once we are out of those legal issues and the acquisition takes place, we can put in place our plan for the use of the building for our local agro-processors. If the, the legal matters can be resolved within a month or two, we can immediately afterwards start um, the process of redesigning and, and preparing the whole place for, for what we want to do. So let us see that you know, by the beginning of, of next year, we would like to see this place become fully operational. Chief Analytical Chemist at the Produce Chemist Lab Owen Henry highlighted the significant production disparity between the potential of the lab and its current offerings. He emphasized the inability of agro-processors to access sufficient equipment to maximize production. So at the Project Chemist Lab in Tantin, we have a small pilot plant. Now that pilot plant is more for research and product development. But over the years, um, what we'll have seen that when persons come and do training at the Project Chemist Lab and they, they see the equipment, they will ask to utilize the facility. But the facility, as I said, is a pilot facility. It's not really suitable for large-scale production. So what our, what our intended purpose sorry, is to, um, once persons have been trained and the product have been properly developed, then we'll have this facility properly equipped so persons can continue the agro-processing business uh, utilizing this multi-purpose agro-processing facility. Acting Chief Extension Officer Lawrence St. Louis elaborated on the facility's safety measures and its potential ripple effect for farmers, noting that they would benefit from increased production and minimize spoilage. Once we have acquired the building and retrofitted it, then we would, um, we would ensure that all of the, the food safety standards, that we up to all of those standards, and so the agro-processors will now have an opportunity to um, produce their goods in a place that is state-of-the-art as much as we can and um, they'll be able to have storage you know you'll be able to more people will be able to come in because a lot of people are interested in agro-processing however they do not have any of the machinery and you know all of all of that stuff that that they would have so that they would need so no they have an opportunity to use a facility that government will be would be um, making available to them of course it will come at some minimal cost and um, they will be able to, you know, get an opportunity to, to do that. Christina John, GBN News.